You already read the title. You know what this is about. So I'll just go ahead and say it. Your 3D printer sucks. And I can already hear you writing your angry comment saying, you know, my printer doesn't suck. I've got a dual extruder and a heated bed. But no, it does. It still sucks. And I'll give you three reasons why it sucks. But first, a little bit of background. I bought my first printer about five years ago. It's a Sierra 10S. And since then, I've used about a representative amount of every printer on the market. Everything from the Taz to the Form Labs to the uh, Delta printers. And that's left me with these three complaints about 3D printing. And I'll go ahead and say that uh, when I'm talking about 3D printing, I'm talking specifically about consumer 3D printing. I'm aware that industrial 3D printing has many different uh, problems and many different solutions. However, when it comes to consumer 3D printing, my first complaint is that it is slow. The main value proposition of a 3D printer is how quick it is. Why, why print something if it's quicker just to go out to the store and buy the thing? And if you're making something that's never been made before, why print something if it's quicker just to chisel it out of wood or sculpt it out of clay? So these printers have to be fast, right? And I can hear you saying that, you know, well, it doesn't matter how fast the printer is because the printer is running on its time and I'm doing something else. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. But there's two main problems with that argument. Which is first that if you're making something, the time to iteration really matters. If you're making something, you have to go through multiple iterations. And if it takes you four hours for each iteration, then it's going to slow the process way down. You need that part as quick as humanly possible. And I feel like anything more than 30 minutes for any size of part is too much. You want it in your hands right away. And the second problem with that statement is that the printer's time is not really the printer's time because the printer fails, right? If the printer is not 100% reliable, then you're busy thinking about the printer. Like when you're printing, you never know when the printer is going to fail. It could fail at pretty much any time, which means that you're sp busy spending your time thinking about if the printer will fail and checking on it. And if you're thinking about it and if you're checking on it, it's not really the printer's time because it's occupying your thoughts. And that means that you're busy thinking about this thing and it's not doing its only purpose, which is to building something without you thinking about it. And I don't understand why this can't be solved. Why can't a printer just print well? You look at your dishwasher. When I put my dishes in the dishwasher, I know that I'll come back in two hours and the dishes will be clean. Or when I put my hot pockets in the microwave, I know that I'll come back about in three minutes and they'll be hotter than the surface of the sun. However, when I start a print, I never know if it'll succeed or not. I'm thinking it's going perfect, it's going perfect, it's going perfect, it's looking good, it's this tall, and then pff, it all fails. It's just not reliable. And why can't it be? The printers can easily cost 1200 bucks. I bought my phone for less than 1200 bucks. And if a printer costs less than a phone, why can't it work? Like my phone works, it turns on, it turns off every time, it never fails. And a phone is way more complicated than a printer, and so is a dishwasher. So why can't 3D printers just be as reliable as other consumer devices? There's no fundamental reason it can't. It's our complacency that lets them build these crappy printers that don't work, and we just use them and we have to think about them all the time. And it's really not a good tool. It's not a useful tool. And that leads me to my third problem with 3D printing. And it's that 3D printers are not only slow and not only do they fail all the time, but they also print crap. Like you look at the prints and, and they're plastic and they're PLA. Like pl PLA is not a good material. And sure, it prints great. But no one uses PLA in industry. It's just not a thing. Like, and people say, well, oh, you know, it's biodegradable. No, it's not really biodegradable. Go look it up. It's not actually biodegradable. So you're using this plastic just because it's simple to print, right? And it's not strong. When it prints, it prints ugly. Like it's these bright colors and you can't paint it. You have to do multiple layers of priming and you have to sand it. It just doesn't work, right? It, it, I have to put so much effort into post-processing anything that I print that it, it's just not worth it anymore. So I put 
all this effort and I put all this money into buying a machine and tuning it and getting it working. And after all that, I'm rewarded with plastic parts that not only are ugly, but they're not even biodegradable like they're advertised. So what do I see as the future? What does 3D printing have to change in order to be mainstream, in order to be a common household item? Well, you look at normal people and they don't put up with stuff that we put up with. They see a printer fail and they think, I'm over, I'm never using it again. And I think that this is a thing that we put up with too much. I think they almost have the right mindset because when I'm using a printer and it fails, it, it feels depressing. Like I, I put all this effort into tuning it and setting it up right. And it, it's a drag. It's a drag on my energy. The tool should not be lowering my energy to do stuff because no matter, because every time I put all this energy into setting it up right and it still fails, which is a disappointment. And, and, and that drags the creativity and the, and the excitement I have for this process all the way down. The second problem is that printers, we need to force them to print better materials. There's no reason that a printer shouldn't print PC or shouldn't print PETG. Like that should just be a common 3D printing material that works out of the box for all printers. They should just be a standardized thing. That should just happen. And the third problem, and this is probably the real major problem with 3D printers, is that they don't actually do that much. I don't mean that they don't do that much because I love them and they do a lot. But when you look at, when you're a business dude and you're saying I can invest a billion dollars into making a new product, they're not gonna look at 3D printing and invest that amount of money to make it work. It's not a large enough space. 3D printing does not solve a big enough problem to be worth the investment necessary to make these changes. So 3D printing, the biggest problem with 3D printing that we fundamentally have to change is we have to change the culture around printing. It needs to be something that everyone has to have because of how useful it is. It can't just be used to print toys and to print nice little pet whatevers, pet projects, you know, whatever. It has to be something that people need. It's a, it has to be a tool. It has to be useful and it has to be a necessity in order for it to be invested in, in order for the product to be good. Until then, we're going to be left with these cheap crap printers that we spend a ton of money on and that they still fail, that print slow, and that print crap. And that's a hard problem to solve. How do we make printers useful? How do we make it so that everyone knows that they need one? Unfortunately, I don't have the answer to that. Like, I don't really know how to make 3D printing a big enough problem, a big enough thing that everyone needs. I think that there are definitely ways in the future. There is tons of stuff coming up, like the metaverse and other uh, industries that will, will capitalize on 3D printing as a technology. And I think that there's going to be a huge amount of investment in the short future. But th until then, I really think that this is the state of the industry, that 3D printing is kind of a niche and it will be until everyone needs one. And that's just how it is. If you have any comments, you know, any opinions to my opinions, then, uh, you know, leave it in the comments below, you know, do all those things that people tell you to do. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. See you next time on Manufacturing Monday.